we can approach serves and brackets in much the same way as we do algebra and brackets. So for example I tend to use the method where we link up the terms like so, often called the smiley face technique. It tells us what to times together. So we've got a root 3 times a root 3. Well root 3 times root 3 is root 9, that just equals 3. 2 times a 5 is just a 10. Now, root 3 times 5 is just 5 root 3. And here it's just 2 root 3. 3 plus 10 is 13. And 5 and 2 is 7, so 7 root 3. This could not be made any simpler. So the second one, the same technique. I tend to draw the lines on. So, more careful now. We've got a root 3 times a 2 root 3. Well, root 3 times root 3 is 3. Times it by 2, we get a 6. This just gives us a 5 root 5. Now down here, root 3 times root 5 is just root 15. And this, 5 times 2 is 10, so it's just 10 root 3. So these questions are just composed of four separate third times in questions and if you're unsure of that see the separate video on times in together thirds. Now this answer has got an integer, a root 5, a root 3 and a root 15. They're all different. They cannot be made any simpler than that. That is the final answer. Now in the third example we can do a trick first of all. Now where possible we always try to make our thirds simpler. Now then Root of 32 is the same as root of 16 times 2. That is a square factor of 32. So this can be turned into root of 16 is 4, so 4 root 2. So this equals root 2 plus 4 root 2. Again, see the video on making the search simpler for how this works with a square. Now, root 2 plus 4 root 2 is 5 lots of root 2. All squared. This just equals 5 root 2 times 5 root 2. Well, 5 times 5 is 25. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. So 25 times 2 equals 50. Now the fourth one is a special case. If we draw our lines again to show what to times together. Well 3 times 3 is 9. Root 2 times minus root 2. Well root 2 times root 2 is 2. So it's just minus 2. This is a 3 root 2. And this is a minus 3 root 2. Now they cancel off. And 9 take 2 equals 7. So it becomes an integer. And generally, if it's a plus root b and a minus root b, a times a is a squared. Root b times root b is b. It's actually a squared minus b. And for A-level maths, it's worth knowing that generalisation off by heart.